In this video, we will go over the basics of aligning a claim form. First, we will want to navigate to reports and select design custom reports and bills. Now this will open our Metasoft report designer. And from here, we can select file, open report, and then select the form that needs to be aligned. For the purpose of this video, we will use the CMS 1500-212 form. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And from this point, we're gonna to want to really look at the report in the three ways that it's presented to us. And those are the three bands. So we have this very large band here, the claim header band. This very small blue band in the middle, which is actually called the transaction detail band. And then this green band at the bottom is called the claim footer band. Now, when we're identifying how we need to align this form, the first thing we want to look and see is if every field, which a field are these boxes found throughout the form, if every field is misaligned to the same degree. So if you can look at a printed claim form and see, oh, wow, everything is either too high, too low, or everything has shifted to the left or to the right, you can adjust all of those at the same time. Now, the way we can do that is by going to File, selecting Report Properties, and looking at the form offset here. Obviously, we have the two values, the left offset and the top offset. Now, left, if we decrease this value, so in this example, going into a negative value, that will make the, all of the fields go further to the left. So we can actually see that here. So everything has gone a little bit to the left of the form. And then if we go back into it, in the top offset, if we uh, decrease this value, this will actually go further up. If we increase that, it will increase the top offset and things will come further down. So we're gonna go ahead and reset these values here. And that will help you to quickly align your form if you notice that every field has shifted off in the same direction to the same degree. Now, if that's not the case, then we do need to adjust each band individually. So we start at the top and we work our way down. So the first band we would want to adjust is the claim header band. Now this band, each field will need to independently be modified. So my recommendation here is to select a field that needs to be moved. And then this is a, a degree of trial and error that is required here. And you use your arrow keys to make slow adjustments here. Now, in the event that you do want things to be neatly lined up, you can right click a field, click on properties and look at the position of it. So you want to make sure that the full name and the street are lined up properly. You can see that the left offset is 25. And if we look at this left offset, that's also 25. So those are do end up lined up together. Now, if you want to make sure things across, align are, are in the same height. We'll do the same thing, but with the top position. So this one is 164. Over here, we have this one at 167. So if we wanted this to be in line with that date of field, we could adjust that like so. But other than that, each field will need to be manually adjusted. As you go throughout this, you'll learn that which fields correlate with what where they actually print on the form because sometimes it's not abundantly clear but it's useful to find some fields like these boxes of codes these 12 codes here to like notice where they are and then to look where maybe another field is in relation to that and then figure out how you can adjust according to that now once you make an adjustment to this form i recommend going to file and then save as, and the first time you save it, it'll be untitled. 
So you can put your own name here for the form. But what I like to do is put a version number. So this one will be version two. You save that, and then you could go to file, preview report, and put in your filters and print it out and look at the alignment and see what other adjustments need to take place. Now, once you get your claim header corrected, you need to look at the transaction detail. Now, transaction detail is a little bit different because this, this field, this small band here, gets reprinted depending on how many transactions exist within this form. There's one transaction, and this, these lines get printed once. If there's two, then the next line will get printed below it. Now, if these lines need to go down, the trick to do that is to increase the size of the header band. And I'll show you that right now. So if you go to File, Report Properties, and take a look at the bands. The only band that I recommend you adjust is the claim header band. This is where you would select the size, which is the height of the band. You can increase that value here. So if you look at the space between code one and this dotted line, if I increase this, normally, normally you're gonna have to type it in because this jumps up quite a bit. But just so you can see the drastic difference, started at 7.13, we'll go to 7.38. We're looking at this gap right here. See how much larger that got? So that pushes the transaction detail band. So in the event that transaction detail needs to be shifted down, you can increase the band size. If it needs to go up, obviously we do the opposite. We go to bands, we'll adjust the claim header, and we'll bring it down for its details. So see now how close it is. So uh, you probably wouldn't need to make such drastic jumps for that. Oftentimes, I start by 7.2 if I wanted to slightly increase it from the default 7.13 inches value. And then any or left or right offset for any of the fields on the transaction, you have to manually find your fields by clicking on them and then using your arrow keys left and right to adjust the left and right offset for that. And what you would do after making adjustments to the transaction is you would save as, and then we would make our version three. That way, if we do make a drastic change and we were making progress before this, we haven't overwritten uh, a version two, which is good progress, we can always go back to that. So every edit you make, I recommend creating a new version number. So this one would be version three. So now in the event that the claim header looks good and our transaction bands are looking good, we would need to adjust the footer. Now at this point, all of our band heights should be proper and we would want to only adjust this by manually adjusting the fields up and down. Now to make things a little bit easier, you can select multiple items that are either in a column together or in a row together. So what that looks like is selecting one item like this field here, holding shift and left clicking the other items. And as you can see here, it's grabbing many items in a row. And then we can use the arrow keys to manipulate all of them left, right, up, down. Because oftentimes, as you look at the form, there's rows of these fields. So adjusting them all together will save you time. And then accordingly, you can also, if, if items are in a column, you can select them that way as well if you need a column of items. It just doesn't work very well if you try to grab diagonal items. Sometimes it will, but it's not the best for aligning the form. So in that event, you will just need to adjust all of the fields here in the footer. And then once you make your adjustments, go ahead and save as, create a new version. And then you can go ahead and preview that and take a look and see where your alignments are after this version. Now, aligning a claim form, it's a tedious process. There's a lot of trial and error. 
you will have to make many edits and sl make slow changes to, to try and get where the form needs to be. But the more you do this, the quicker you'll get at it and you'll get a greater feel of to what degree a field needs to move when it is off center. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and also do us a favor and click that like button. Thanks again and see you on the next one.